What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and my Lamborghini again. I'm, I'm vlogging at the same time as I'm filming this and when I said in the vlog my Lamborghini it felt really surreal still and I'm definitely still getting used to it. Um, so bear with me as I sort of try and stumble across the words my Lamborghini. Um, but today I want to, um, well, drive this car again because over the weekend if you saw by my social media I was with the Audi and didn't spend that much time with this car and didn't drive it at all today is Monday the roads are wet and I want to talk to you about the next modification that is going to be happening to this car but I also want to do some proper tunnel runs because I haven't done that yet um, in this particular car I want to get that done before the next modification comes and I think it's clear, I think I might, may have even mentioned it in a couple of my YouTube videos ago, that the next modification is going to be an Army Tricks exhaust system. Videos never do car sounds justice and I've found that over the years of filming in London and filming some stupidly loud cars, but it never really gets picked up on the camera. So this tunnel sounds video today probably isn't going to sound exactly how I can hear it in the car. Um, but what I want to do is try and create a comparison between the stock of this car, the stock exhaust system of this car, and then once I put the exhaust system onto this particular car, because I'm hoping that it will become a lot louder than what my R8 was. And what I'm in the process of planning on doing is getting an Army Tricks Audi R8 down on the day that the Army Trick system gets fitted to this car and doing a sound comparison and decibel rev war, which I think is going to make a really cool video, but hopefully as well is going to show the difference in sound and decibels between a catback R8 system and a full blown Army Tricks exhaust system for the Lamborghini, which I always wanted. I always wanted a very, very loud Lamborghini, and to now be able to create one of the loudest. Gallardos in Europe. That's what I'm hoping for anyway, or at least the loud, one of the loudest LP560s in Europe. Then um, Army Tricks are going to be help, are going to be helping me do that. I tell you what, right at the beginning of this video, there was a police road closure, and I'm currently driving in a direction I have no idea. I have no idea whether I'm going to come across speed bumps, traffic, hills. so excited knowing what happened and the sound difference that I got between the stock R8 and the Armitrix R8 now with this the stock versus the full exhaust system I'm so excited and I think SB are excited as well because it's a two day job they're going to be sort of getting into the project which I'm going to be getting into and filming as well I'm going to try and do a 48 hour vlog I'm going to try and do that I think that's what I want to do at the moment um, but it is going to be absolutely awesome to film, to be a part of, and there's no other exhaust company for one. Army Tricks, for me, create the best sounding exhaust systems. I wouldn't give my an exhaust system and my car to anyone else to fit it other than SB Race Engineering. I've seen them fit Capristo exhaust, I've seen them fit Novitec, I've seen them fit tons and tons of Army Tricks exhaust system, and it's not just the exhaust system that they fit because all of these aftermarket exhaust systems have their own unique little niggles and that's not saying that they're bad exhaust systems or they're wet or then poorly made it's just that every single exhaust system is manufactured slightly differently but SB always try and engineer it to make sure that it is working the best for that specific car just quickly before we go into a tunnel all of these roads have been rained on in the last hour or so Clouds are still quite grey. This is also the first time that I've driven the car with any 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 dampness on the road. So when I put it in sport, I'm gonna to have to be very aware that the traction control is taken away, is reduced. Traction control is reduced in sport and course mode. So I'm gonna to have to be careful when I go through this tunnel. But that might mean that we get some awesome revs and slide. Well, not slides. I don't want to say the slides, but. Some, some awesome sounds. So here we go. We're cruising down the slip road. I'm in enable sport mode now. You can 
can hear the valves open already. And again, it's a fast moving road with a big wide tunnel, so the sound might not be as good on the camera as it is in person, so we're, we're just going to see. expectations because I'm probably a bit blase to these cars in central London you see quite a lot of LP 560s although you see a lot more Ferraris I don't know there was a part of me that was like always oh, a is a Gallardo as good as you see in videos and stuff I've seen so many and I've been in a few as well you, I kind of I didn't get used to it I don't know there was a weird feeling where I kind of talked myself into getting this, the Gallardo, as opposed to the Mercy Largo. And now since seeing the Hurricane being launched and what an awesome car that is, and also the Aventador, you're like, oh my God, like, the Gallardo, what is it, like, where does it fit? Where does it, like, I don't really know how to describe it, and I'm definitely not doing a very good job of doing that. But just getting to know this car, just, the short space that I've been able to drive it, and I haven't really been able to drive it that much. It is amazing. It is amazing. I cannot wait to do a review on this car, and I'm gonna be doing a review very soon on this car, because I need to kind of relay all of the feelings and the emotions that I get when I drive this car in all of the different modes, because every single different mode has got a personality behind it, and that's a huge thing that I didn't really understand about these Italian cars having passion and, and charisma and a personality in itself until I've, I'm driving one and I own one and then you really get a sort of a feel for this car's kind of got a mind in it of its own it does kind of what it wants and you feel like you're in the hands of this exotic beast which it, it is a beast and what do we know about that? Now, there's a first for everything, 
I still haven't done my first McDonald's drive-through, which is coming. <laughs> Army Tricks and SB Race Engineering. Here we go. And they're going to be making a very, very loud monster. So thank you for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure that you subscribe if you're new and you've just come across my uh, channel, Supercars of London. It would mean the whole world. And thank you so much for all of the support that um, you guys show every single video. It is it's mind-blowing. And over the next couple of weeks, I'll be sure to make sure that I'm creating cool content for you to continue to enjoy and love. So I will see you tomorrow for today's video vlog. Cheers, guys.